Local first is about building better apps. Apps are better for users because they're instantly responsive, they enable collaboration, and they're resilient to the network dropping. But local first also promises a better developer experience. So what are the developer benefits of a local first architecture? And how compelling are they? Let's get into it after the intro. The local first movement is growing. My theory is that local first is the best foundation to build high quality apps in general. I want to tell you about local first but software. Local first seems really hard. The developer experience around this became a lot more simple. Everything. In this series, we look at the key concepts behind local first development. Local first apps bring amazing speed and continuity to the user experience. So much so that for apps that users spend a lot of time in, user experience benefits alone can be enough to lead developers to prefer a local first architecture. The project management app Linear is a good example of where gains in speed and network resilience add up to significant time savings and significantly less frustration for users, allowing a now much loved product to be successful in a space that was dominated by established incumbents. However, developers aren't waiting for end users to demand better UX before adopting local first in their projects. And the reason is the simpler developer experience that Local First provides. Now, you might ask yourself, if Local First provides a simpler developer experience, why is Local First adoption only taking off now? Hasn't it always been an option? The reason is that building your own sync engine used to be a huge barrier to Local First adoption. The complexity and engineering effort involved meant that it was only undertaken by the bravest or most passionate among us, like the folks at Linear. But now that sync engines are being productized more and more, developers can much more easily add them to their software. So what benefits do you get from Local First once you have a sync engine in place? Let's look at seven distinct developer benefits of Local First. The first is latency resilience. Local First apps have super fast UI because they use a local database with near zero latency. This fundamental shift in app architecture means that since data is stored exactly where it's needed in the user's app or browser, the network is completely eliminated from the interaction path. And because of that, countering network latency is unnecessary. There's no need for implementing caching on the front end, using edge CDNs, or deploying multi-region backends. Your app is resilient to network latency. Second, you can forget the network while developing. Since dealing with the network is abstracted away by sync engines, there's no need to write networking code for app functionality, making development simpler because for the most part, you can forget about the network. Three, state management becomes simple when your app state is just what's in your local database. When underlying data changes, live query hooks made available by sync engines allow query results and the UI to be automatically updated. State management frameworks become unnecessary for most use cases. Four, move logic to the front end. Since all required data is available on the client, most logic can be moved to the client too. This can greatly simplify the backend. It also allows new app features to be prototyped without having to consider the backend. Queries run against the local database and updates are written there too. Five, this one's pretty simple. Since apps keep working with their local database even when the backend is down, there's much less of a need for site reliability engineering and for a team doing on-call rotation. Six, reduced infrastructure costs. The simplified backend architecture that sync engines enable have a major effect on infrastructure costs. Here's the picture given by Linear. So a thousand concurrent users, which, which is approximately 10,000 sort of users in, in, in total, could run all of you know, Linear um, with effectively just two um, CPU cores um, in, in Europe, um, which costs you maybe 80 bucks a month. Seven, real-time streaming for free. The benefits of having a real-time sync engine as part of your stack extends to being able to easily add collaboration functionality like group chats or multi-user document editing. Built-in real-time streaming also makes it easy to push alerts or messages to users. So, Local First clearly promises a great deal, but does it deliver? In the next few videos, we'll take a look at these benefits in more detail and show implementation examples. Subscribe if you'd like to follow along.